As much as I've been hated throughout YouTube and through many other people, I am just still shocked that I'm actually still here and I thought I could actually share this basically a story that actually happened to me earlier this evening and I basically don't want to return to this other I mean to this channel because seeing that I am currently on another channel that I've been working on just to grow um like a healthy viewer base I suppose but this story is actually about like I want to say gunpoint but let's just say that it's something similar to that so like yeah you should definitely start this off okay so when I was walking from home right um by this guy that I knew because I was walking to the 9 sand store to actually get a couple groceries or whatever because, well, I actually kind of spend the rest of, of my money that I actually um, have gotten from my mom, of course, just to, you know, just buy groceries for myself so that I actually won't go hungry. The thing is basically this guy named um, JR, right? He's a really, really awesome guy. He's like my height, by the way. I don't want to say my height because that's a secret because we were like really short men, right? The thing is, basically, I saw him when I actually caught the bus. I guess that's what I get for wearing green because it is my lucky uh, favorite color. And the bus has been sitting there for who knows how long for maybe like a good, like, 10 minutes when I missed it. And then as soon as I actually got on, um, when I was still standing there, I was able to actually get on and I met JR. So he basically had his bike stolen by someone while he was asleep, which I feel awful for him because someone actually barged his home. This is still his bike. Funny how, like me growing up, I never had anyone barging into our homes and stealing our stuff. That never happened. So it's kind of interesting because since I'm from Phoenix, crime isn't that bad. It isn't. It just depends the neighborhood you live in. I'm sure just like that for a, like any big city. Especially how much I walk out here. I did meet a handful of awful people, yes. But, I mean, that is going to happen anywhere you go, I suppose. So, basically, I decided to make a video with him, right? Because, I mean, he didn't mind that I was on camera. You know, I didn't ask for it. I just straight up filmed. But, I'm sure he didn't mind at all. Because I even done this before with him. He's a really, really sweet man, honestly. Like, he even walked to, like, down to close to my house... Um, just to make sure that I'm safe, which he didn't have to do that at all. And basically, as I accidentally had the, the video on pause, right? Like, when we got down to the alley, like, I stopped recording. I met this very, very tall um, man um, that actually had, like, I think dreadlocks? I think they were, like, light brown. Like, he dyed his hair. I think it was, like, a foot taller than I am. I, I can't tell. I know he's, like, six foot something. He's really, really tall, right? And I'm guessing he was talking to another, um, you know, I think friend of his? I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest. I basically just started chiming with him because he saw me or see me in a neighborhood within the past couple years. And how, you know, he called me Pokemon or something because I always go to my phone because he thought I played Pokemon Go, which I didn't. I'm flattered, though, because, I mean, I know people might think it's an insult, but I don't care. I guess it brings up a conversation, and, of course, the guy that he was talking to was white, and JR actually have went somewhere, I think back back home or whatever, just to take care of business and even, well, his bike that he needed to get back. So, basically, what has happened is that the very tall uh, black man, right, assumed that I was filming him, which I wasn't because I forgot to turn off my phone. And the recording has been on pause since I was on the alley. It's not like I was still recording. I'm guessing it was my fault. Like, Dion, you should have turned off your phone. Otherwise, this incident would have never happened. It, mistakes happen. It's it, We can't avoid them. We can't. But the thing is that basically, he literally died. I was filming. He, he wasn't like, I mean, I guess he was upset and concerned, right? Like, I guess he took that to offense. And then again, he gave me the speech that, oh, if you're actually recording people without their cassette, they get press charges. Honestly, this is out in public. It's not illegal to film out in public. Especially since I even gotten, like, a nasty remark from a woman that said or asked, hey, can I film my car or whatever? Like, it's literally out in public. And, man, she was so feisty. Like, she gave me an awful attitude. That's because... I wanted to share what's going on in that day. She had a nasty attitude. I, I could see a walk in that day. I'm guessing she was with her boyfriend. And basically that very tall black man, you know, 
asked me to look at my phone, like not like do all my pictures or anything, but he actually asked me if I could delete that, that video. I guess he thought I was filming him and I said I didn't. And I'm guessing he felt triggered because I was being triggered or shaking a little bit out of being nervous. So basically, I guess it just to make him more calm, it's not as though I've been robbed by deleting my video. Right? I mean, it's just a video. I get that. It's not like he basically, you know, killed me or beat me up or anything. He didn't do that. So, I mean, he was kind. He was toned. I mean, like, you know, he's just trying to talk to me, so to speak, right? So I did delete the video because I figured that would be the best way to do so that he won't get angry by that. Even though I did made a video on my other channel, I was talking about him, of course. I didn't, like, really film him walking or anything. Even though I'm out in public, right? You can do that. But the thing is, basically, what I noticed is that I'm thinking, unless he was just doing this just to, like, you know, scare me, I think. Um, or tease me. I, I can't tell. But I think he was being serious. He actually had, like, a gun in his pocket. Amazing he can even fit a gun in his pocket. Like, like an actual gun, right? I mean, I don't even know how big, like, a number gun looks like. I don't know much about guns, like AK-47s or snipers or whatever, right? But he did tell me that he actually had a gun. And I thought, like, okay, like, wow, he really does have a gun. Because my autistic brain, I thought he was bluffing, right? But I did, you know, did what he did, told me to do. Like, delete the video so that he won't get angry about it. Because I thought be the mature way, instead of saying no, like, I'm not going to delete it. And... You know, like him, he probably was set up for something and spreading false rumors. Even though he told, like, an, an old black man that, Oh, this guy's recording people. And he's weird. I, I just basically walked off. Like, I told him, like, okay, thank you very much for letting me know. Because, well, you can film people in public. You're not hurting anything. That's why you'll see a lot of people that would do, like, live streams and whatnot. And even... People that travel to other countries. I mean, you can film people. It's not, like you, it's not like you're filming inside their house. That's just invading their privacy completely. But you're out in public. You know? At least that's how I would see it. Right? And basically, I just walked back home. I was a little bit frustrated. I was like... Like, my adrenaline was rushing off the roof because I thought I'm going to get killed. Or, you know, there would be like a gang coming up to my aid. Or, or no, coming up... Not, not aid. Coming up to me and wanting to kill me or whatever, but I remember just seeing him walking out by himself. I thought he was walking with a friend, but literally he was just by himself because he even asked me if I actually have money to give him, like, you know, I mean, to help him with marijuana because he wanted to basically, you know, buy drugs. And I'm used to people actually asking me that. It's just important to. Like, when they, when they ask you, hey, do you have any, like, money that you can give me? You just have to be polite. Don't tell them, like, no, fuck off. Trust me, it will trigger them. Okay, that's why i never been into any fights myself. You just tell them, oh, I don't have any money, I'm sorry. Or I actually spent, like, the last um, few dollars I had at the store. And they will understand, right? Because they won't basically take advantage of you that way. You know, it seems weak. But basically, being kind, that's the way to go my opinion you know it feels you're you're inferior because you didn't have your pride to stick up for yourself like sometimes i think being too confident can get you killed so basically that's what happened and he went the other way i think passed down to the talk about if you ever see like my my videos in the past of me walking out in public um basically he was heading down to that direction and i'm guessing he doesn't live out here in my neighborhood I never have homeless out here. Like, people are really friendly. I mean, especially our neighbors downstairs. And I was even writing to um, a man that uh, is on a heavy set. And, you know, he's um, handicapped, right? Because he actually, um, you know, is handicapped. And I write to him. So, like, I like living in the neighborhood. Yeah, there would be a couple awful people. It's like that everywhere. I'm just used to it. I try not to see, like, oh... You know what? It just makes it makes people live in this in this region bad people because they're not wealthy or, you know, they do drugs. I don't see it that way. Yeah, like they have their struggles. You know, I feel like I was being taken over. But the thing is that I was protecting myself, even though I didn't have to delete, delete that video. I kind of posted it and then deleted it, and then he wouldn't even know because it's none of his business, right? That was my mistake because it was an awesome video that I did between. Me and GR were inside the bus. It was awesome, but oh well, I lost that memory. So at least I at least, at least I had the memory in my head that we talked. You know, that's something you can't film everything um, on a camera. 
you know, I like doing that because I lost so much of my life. I like to just document everything. You know, you don't, you don't have to do that. So, you know, I hope that he's doing okay because he's an awesome guy. If I bump into him, I might even talk to him. So, you know, like, he literally told me that, like, oh, you don't have to do that. And, you know, you don't need to, like, beat someone up. I never do that. It's just a figure of speech, um, you know, for him because I can get really hurt or I could get killed. So, you know, I, I just do it because I want to make him feel comfortable. And I want to this show support. That's all. So, basically, that's what happened. I mean, I wasn't being held at gunpoint. He did, I think, I believe, had a gun in his pocket. And he didn't, like, wipe it out or anything. I was just thinking, okay, like, he has a gun. And I wasn't like, whoa, like, he had a gun. Like, I'm just, like, I was surprised. I was shocked. Right? And he just said, like, delete the veto, please. You know, like, and I just did that. So, you know, I thought he was just crushing me and I'm getting in trouble for it when I didn't do anything. And he wasn't being even on that video along with the other guy. So, you know, like, I get it. They, they seem, like, really upset or triggered by it. Like, they didn't yell at me or anything. They are just telling me, like, you can't do that. Like, you, you can you can get press charges uh, for doing that. Like, okay, I'm, I'm just still confused because, well, this is, this is out in public. And literally, I didn't film those two because I had the phone record stopped right before I bump into those two. So, yeah, it was just a little bit strange how that happened. But I just wanted to share that story because I just, I, I mean, I met, like, a lot of awful people in my life. And, you know, I'm just, like, even though I'm still hated, even throughout YouTube and throughout, like, some people in the neighborhood, I even got caught a faggot and got an, an egg drawn at me. You know, yeah, I literally have got an egg drawn at me. It really hurt. It did. Well, I didn't scream or cry or anything. Like, yeah, I got hit. And, you know, they literally did a crime. Like, they did assault. Like, I think it's called, like, assault and battery. Or is it like a... Like, when they're driving. I, I'm not sure what type of crime that's called. But, like, they literally, like, drew, like... They, they had, like, a weapon, right? It was just an egg. That could have really killed me. And those men that did that to me, they probably never get caught. So... I walked home, I felt embarrassed that this happened. Like, yep, someone actually kind of killed me. I mean, it it did sting at first, I think. I try to remember, like, it didn't really hurt. I felt something. It's weird. Maybe because I'm just used to this tough stuff happening. So being handed by an egg to a guy that actually had a gun in, in his um, pocket. I'm thinking, like, Dion, how the hell are you still here? Especially since I even been a rape victim by many men that got away with it. I'm, I'm just surprised I'm still alive. Like, I don't get it. It's weird. Like, yeah, I had to suffer this trauma. I want to consider myself strong because, well, I'm traumatized. That kind of makes me feel weak, though. So, I don't, I, I'm guessing maybe because I have the, like, the physical strength of being here, I guess. So, yeah, it really, it really hurts. Like, I can't believe it. Like, Dion, you got hit by an egg. Okay, you literally got hit by an egg. I think he liked the man, because I think he, I remember this, like, it, it came so fast. They're probably driving, like, maybe 40 miles per hour, I think. I mean, I know that's that's fast, but literally, I think in a cruise war, it was a white car. Him, I mean, he had his friend with him, and I'm thinking he called me a faggot. He probably had his um, friend... Drew, drew an egg at me. I even remember sharing it on Facebook, I think. Yeah, I did. I still have that photo. And I I think I even made a YouTube video of it on here a while back. You know, no one probably watched it. But, like, wow. Like, that all has happened to me. I could have really gotten killed if it hit me hard enough. Um, I guess I got to have a strong chest. Maybe because that's what I get for being skinny. I don't know. And, well... Just having a guy just having a gun in his pocket and telling me to delete that video. Like, it's kind of like being robbed at gunpoint because he could have stolen my phone. But he said that he wouldn't do that. Which I get. And I just let it be. Like, yeah, there are some nasty people out there. And I, tr I, I try to see it that way. I just hope that I probably won't bump into him for a while. Like, if I ever want to film around, like, my neighborhood. Like, not showing exactly, like, the address of this place. Or, like... This is the neighborhood and even my dorm number, of course. You know, just like sharing around the neighborhood. Like, that's that's all I'm doing. It's not like I'm filming inside someone's home. So, I just want to share that because 
Well, I'm not guilty of sharing what's been happening to me lately. Especially, man, after what Rosalie did, I just don't know how the hell I'm still here. So, it's amazing, really, that I encountered you so much and, like, Darren, you're still alive. It's, it's really crazy. You know? Plus, I mean, he can't be still on my phone. Like, that's just downright a crime. So, you know, like, especially since I've done nothing to him, um, I just let it be. And, well, I'm sure he has some weird thoughts in his head, too, I guess. Because, I mean, he wanted to get marijuana or whatever, and I know people do anything for drugs, and they can get really abusive. Not all of them, of course. It's a handful. So, I just want to share this before I do switch to the other channel that this stuff has been happening to me a lot lately. Regardless if anyone has watched this all the way through, I don't feel guilty sharing what actually has happened to me. So, yeah, it's crazy. Like, literally, all that stuff happened to me. Like, Dan, you got hit by an egg. I did get almost hit by a cup, oh, like, years ago, if I remember. And I think, like, a girl that drew, like, a glass bottle at me when I was walking out at night somewhere. That happened. Like, I didn't get hit. I almost did, though. So, I still remember that, that night. And I did get hit by an egg another time um, where we used to live as well. Because that kind of happens out here, you know. You can't be doing it to people. So, yeah. People out, out in this road, it's like on Tuck on Titan. Like, you just gotta be really careful. So, yeah, it's it's amazing that I'm still here. I didn't, like, yell at these people or whatever, but... Man, like, Dion, are you still here? I do not know. I'm guessing maybe because I had the strength to keep moving, I suppose. Besides being lucky, I guess, you can call it that. So, that's basically what happened. And I don't know the that tall black man's name. I don't really care. I'm sure I probably won't see him again, I guess. But, yeah, it was, like, basically not, like, like, I think, of like, in front of our house, but, like, a little further down the neighborhood of our house, like, probably, like, 100 feet away, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know what the heck he was doing there. And the other guy, I guess they got probably met them at the, at the wrong time. So, it happens. I want to say things happen for a reason. No. You might as well just say that me getting, getting a, a gun pointing on my head happens for a reason. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. But, yeah. That's what happened. 